Uh, it can be very fast. It can be secure as well, depending on what you're doing. You can use one, two, or three factor for getting into dining. Um, it can provide fraud prevention, just to, depending on the way you implement that. As far as if you only allow bi uh, biometric into the dining hall, then there's certainly no way to pass your card around, right? As students lose their cards on the weekend, they don't have to worry about trying to get those replaced, they can still go eat, things like that. Uh, so really good option for dining. Uh, this past summer, the University of Georgia deployed 20 iris readers for dining. Uh, that's going really well there. They had, in two months' time, over 1 million transactions through their dining halls with iris. So really a lot of uh, movement through the lines there. David's familiar with this. Uh, VCU is somewhat using it for dining, right? Uh, Georgia Southern was really one of the first schools to implement iris for dining. Uh, they've been using it for, what, four years now? Three years? Four, yeah, four, four years. Um, so they, they've since rolled it from out of their dining halls into the rec center with those students had such a high adoption rate with iris in the dining that they wanted to, to implement in a rec center as 